For this week's landscape lesson, we thought we'd talk about tall or sometimes short, but most definitely skinny plants. They definitely have a place in some landscapes, especially since so many of our smaller properties now leave us with two feet, three feet, maybe five feet between one residence and another or between the property line or against a parking lot. So you have many, many choices, including overstory trees. Take, for example, Prairie Sentinel Hackberry, which is about as wide as I am, maybe a little bit wider, but has a trunk and gets very, very tall. We have a lot of hybrid oaks that have been deliberately selected, bred, and then grafted to be able to have that tall, thin form. You use them much differently in the landscape than you would a big tree, and that would be they are a fence, a living fence. They are certainly a screen between your neighbor's property and yours or some competing visual use. They also can definitely be a barrier. We have a lot of shrubs that are also narrow. They're a little bit harder to work with sometimes because they may not have multiple canes from the base, and that means if you get some damage or some death in one side, you're likely to use the entire, lose the entire shrub. Hellman's Pillar Barberry is one that is very, very narrow and very thorny. There's one called Orange Rocket, which is very narrow, very thorny, and very orange. And then we have some upright fern leaf buckthorn that we're a little bit cautious about. We also have a lot of very narrow ornamental grasses or selections of our natives. Those are pretty cool. And they will, again, go into smaller spaces. They won't flop open or open up in a snow so much. Standing ovation, a little blue stem is one of the ones that come to mind. People love the really narrow evergreens. We have uh, all sorts of spruce and some firs that are very, very narrow. The issue that you have to be aware of with those is those branches are essentially a cantilever and a snow load or damage that causes weight on the ends of those branches can really cause them to open up. That's very, very difficult to get them to either come out of that on their own or you really don't want your tall, narrow, skinny thing all twined up with duct tape to be able to hold it up in the landscape.